Hey guys, it's Kronos the Hedgehog, and today we're going to be reviewing the Sonic Origins official trailer. This actually recently just came out on the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter page, and the Facebook page will be later updated, but it's been released to the channel as well of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it looks so amazing. This is a collection of the Sonic classic games, and I'm going to be um, just doing a breakdown on the trailer. I sure hope that I'm the first one to do this, so let's get right into it. <laughs> So it first starts off with the classic Sonic 1 trailer. It has the sky, the background, the oceans, and just the classic green hills, actual hills. There's more art, and this art's obviously made by Tyson Hess, because he's the one who made the Sonic Mania Adventure series, which looks so amazing. And this is all, uh, rated E for everyone, which will be G, uh, rated G for general audiences in Australia. If you didn't know, I live in Australia, which is the best country in the world. This is the classic Sonic 1 title screen. So it just cuts off with Sonic doing his classic symbol where he normally does his waving his finger. And then he, flip, he flips out of frame, like he front flips out of frame. And then the, the uh, logo appears, Sonic Origin. So this is a new logo that was actually shown on the Korean website when I first saw it when I was doing work. And this has like new art, like from Tyson Hayes, as I just said before. And I'm going to be breaking down every single frame, if possible. And we cut to, this is either a tie, it's probably a cut, it's a time stone. It's the green one. I think it's the most iconic time stone. This is what my um, origin is based off from. And we cut from one of the second stages in Sonic CD. Don't know the name of it, but... um. It's, um, I think this is where Amy gets kidnapped. And he's just doing some parkour. And then right here, this is, the f I think, the first time Amy's actually been in a short, like in a trailer. Not the um, Sonic Mania's Episode 6 Christmas special. It cuts to Sonic looking around the zone until Amy comes around and is running away from Metal Sonic. I have no reason why... Metal Sonic is chasing down Amy. Like, I don't understand the gimmick of why Metal Sonic's going after Amy. Like, what purpose? Like, shouldn't you be going after Sonic? Or maybe Tails or Knuckles? Um, I think in uh, in the continuity of Sonic the Hedgehog, the, uh, Sonic 1 and then Sonic CD happens and then Sonic 2. Um, that's just how it goes. I, I'm actually so excited for this, to be honest. Amy's running away from... Um, Metal Sonic. And then Sonic dodges it, and he's like, there's something going on. There's something that's not right about this. And then we cut to the play the games that defined a generation. So this is going this is going back from 1991 to 1994, when the Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles... I sort of wish they can put Knuckles Chaotix because I love that game. I played it on my YouTube channel, but I got rid of it because it looked so boring. Because I actually generally thought they were going to put this in their collection, but they actually are not. So, yeah, okay, just warning. From here on in, there's going to be spoilers about the Sonic Origins official trailer. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. So play the games that defined a generation. Like, these games were, like, more popular than Sonic Adventure, Sonic 2, and all that. Sonic Adventure 2, I mean. Sonic 1 has been expanded to its widescreen and it's been upscaled all the way. Um, I think this is Chris, uh, Christian Whitehead's version of the game and it looks so good. Um, I th it is um, just an emulated version of it. I, I sure hope that's not true though, but it looks like it is. Um, yeah, if you can look in the bo uh, bottom left corner, I, I heard about like a podcast about it with the coins and stuff 
Um, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. There's rings, but why is there coins? Like, that, that must be an error. Like, look, oh, okay, there, there must be a gimmick, but like, what is this, bloody Mario? Um, yeah, it doesn't explain why there's a coin, but it just has a star in it, or like a star coin in the Super Mario Bros. new Super Mario Bros. series. Yeah, I don't know why there's a coin there. It doesn't make sense. And it just has zero over it. So it just has Sonic going through the little uh, wormholes. It cuts to, yeah. This is like um, a Sonic 1 Forever playthrough of the game. It's not Sonic 1 Forever. It's just the Sonic 1 emulator game. But um, there was a game previously that I was playing was Sonic 1 Forever, which was um the definitive way to play sonic one but i feel like this collection would take that prize away from sonic one forever oh yeah and then it has new scenes as soon as sonic um goes up the slope and shoots into the air we cut back to tyson hess's um artwork with the tornado and yeah they're just traveling through i think one of the sky chase zones from sonic 2 and i, I love these zones actually especially I hate the um, Marge Saloon Act 1 playthroughs. Um, I ha that, that's the worst part of the game. Like of Sonic Mania. And it looks... Uh, Tails drives the tornado into one of Eggman's robots. Or Dr. Robotnik's Eggman robots. And destroys it. Like there, I think there's um, four fully remastered titles. So that's Sonic CD. Sonic 1. Sonic 2. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And it's this is probably the first time Sonic 3 and Knuckles actually has been on the PS5. Um, I'm going to be playing this on the PS5, so check out my playthrough when it comes out. Um, also, check out um, my Sonic 1 Forever. Yeah, I'm shamelessly plugging in my stuff, so what? Anyways, um, we're going to have a little bit of a break and have a little... Um, have a word from Sonic the Hedgehog himself. What up, Sonic Squad? It's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Subscribe to Kronos. Click the like button and leave a comment. Show him some love. Sonic the Hedgehog is out. Before I go... Please support him in any way. He's part of the reason why we won the war against Eggman. Thank you. Thank you, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah, so do as it says and subscribe right now. Because, like, my content's the best. But seriously, you should really subscribe. It means the world to me. M not most of you have subscribed, but you should really subscribe. It really helps me out. It makes me want... It, it gives me more confidence to do these videos. Like, I've been recently uploading a lot of videos lately, and I feel like you should watch more of my content should that ever come to be. All right, back to the review, all right? All right, so they're introducing the titles to the video, to the trailer, I mean. Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you can see the uh, title, and it's basically just showing you the different game modes. Um, as you go back to the previous one, though, um, at the coins area, it looks like at the previous frame had 160, and right now it has coins 11. Um, I think every time you die, it takes coins away from you, which is kind of a Super Mario Odyssey thing, and I feel like that's sort of just taking the away the lives. So that they they give they, what's the point of having coins? If you're just going to lose them all. Like, I mean, that gives you more lives and stuff. But why give rid of the li lives? It, might, it must have the same gimmick, though. So I don't really get that in a way. It's like, uh, the coins and the lives serve the same purpose. Just maybe the coins have more value, value than the um, lives do. But I've sort of missed the lives. It's what makes it unique. I miss seeing Sonic's face in the... Um, in the small left hand corner and then we cut down to sonic 2 and the coin count has gone up to 19 yeah um it's just it, it's sort of just um a rom hack not rom hack um an emulated version of the game but put onto more generated consoles so they're probably going to do some more stuff about it i don't know so let's continue sonic for your knuckles this is something i love um something that I, I sure this is one problem that I had with this series, like with this collection, just right now. If they don't have save states in Sonic Free and Knuckles, then I'm not gonna play it for fully. That's the problem that Sonic Free Air had, and I deleted all that um, videos because it just didn't look too good. Um, yeah, but Sonic Free and Knuckles, if it has save states, and this if this collection has save states, then I'll be so excited. It gives me. 
it makes me want to play the game more because like most people that play Sonic 3 and Knuckles need save states to complete this uh, Super Emerald Special Stages. I can do this uh, seven Emerald Special Stages in Sonic 3 alone, but when it comes to Sonic 3 and Knuckles and doing the Super Emerald Stages, that is so much more difficult, and I don't like that. Um, I know that's just a pitiful reason, but most of the uh, Sonic YouTubers here have, can do the Special Stages like it's no one's business. They probably do some practice when they were kids or something, but I can't do it because I'm pathetic and useless. Uh, don't doubt yourself. I'm just saying. I'm actually quite bad at it. All right, let's continue. Oh, this is um, this is the ending scene of um, oh, um, when so Hypersonic destroys the Death Egg at its final stage and goes back down um, to the Earth and then has the Master Emerald in hand. And I, it looks so good. I love this series. It's so good. Once this comes out, I will play through it all the way. Like, um, I might play Sonic 3 and Knuckles first. Or Sonic 2. I might play Sonic CD. I don't know. But I'm playing Sonic 3 first. That, that's just what I'm going to do. This is... I, I'm not going to say it yet, but... Yeah. Yeah, there's also new animated cut scenes by Tyson Hayes. And his artwork is so amazing. Oh, and this is the Death Egg. Um, this is from Sonic 2, where you had to defeat this robot with no rings. No, no, no. Okay, this is Silver Sonic. So you had to face him with no rings, and then face this giant behemoth. And it's so stressful. But that's the thing. That's the excitement that Mario never has. Play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. So you can actually just select the characters. Um, they haven't put the icons in there okay and close. But you can play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, the n the boy himself. Um, at least you get the... Yeah, this actually looks like the Christian Whitehead, because you can tell us the logo. Uh, I don't know, but I sure hope that you can actually play as any other character. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, and that looks really good. So you can play as Knuckles in the... Uh, Marble Garden Zone, I think. Marble Zone? Yeah, Marble Zone. Sorry, that's Sonic 3. So you can play through the whole Sonic 1, Sonic 2 um, as Knuckles. And that's so awesome! I love that. Um, the, if you didn't know, like, this is sort of like a visual effects. Like, if you're not like, a visual effects guy, you wouldn't know this. But more of the, um, the background of the stages have been more in detail. Like, as I remember. Because I play, I remember playing Sonic 1 and the hills in the background were not as tall they're were, they were actually much more high which i sort of complained about in the original games but i don't know i'm a visual type of guy um i could have sworn that clouds that weren't as turquoise or cyan but it turns out it isn't yeah so this is another thing they had in mania where you can have n knuckles with knuckles and tails which is a really unique gimmick so if you can have knuckles and tails in the game then that is super cool like, as long as this game has save states, then I'll be fine with that. And then you can, um, I think, I think there's a, where you can have Knuckles, play as Knuckles' game by himself. Um, I don't know what that means yet, but who knows. But you can actually play, if you get all Chaos Emeralds, that must, be, no, that, that, that's Hyper Tales, because you can see the flakies in the background. Um, I don't know if you can get Super Tales in Sonic 2, but it's probably Super Tales with the, um, uh, hmm. it's probably it's just super tails with the super emeralds but i think you can get super tails in um sonic 3 like by just getting the chaos emeralds alone and then you'll be able to turn super tails if you get the super emeralds you might be able to turn hyper tails um i don't know how it works but the gimmicks are all over the place um, I think you can turn super in Sonic 2. If you can, then that's awesome. And it's just showing gameplay of um, Sonic going through Emerald Hill and Chemical Plant Zone. And then you can play as Tails in Labyrinth Zone, the worst zone in the world. But it's not as bad as long as you stay on the top. And, oh, okay. I didn't know that because in Scrap Brain Zone, I didn't know you can just go past that. I was going really cautious and I just go through that, but... I don't know. I, I think I did do that in my playthrough where at the very last episode, I just used the um, Super Peel out to avoid that. I have played as Knuckles, so check that out on my channel as well. That's, that'll be in the Sonic 1 playlist. Oh, oh, oh. This is something that I um, wanted to be talking about. Um, 
they have put um, stages from the beta into like like the stages that were in the prototype of Sonic CD and Sonic 2 are now in the game. Um, this stage, I think, wasn't actually in the game. Oh, maybe this is a good future of uh, one of the stages. Tidal Tempest, I think. No, it's not Tidal Tempest. I don't, I don't remember. Classic modes and anniversary. So this is like um, just the boss right. I mean, you could probably just play as a classic, like as the game was back then in 1991 to 1994. And you can play it in like the bars, but I don't know why the hell you would. And then this is like the anniversary title. I don't know why they won't just include it in the Sonic 2 stages where you just fall down and then... I don't know what the zone was called, but it was like in... Um, Oh, you you, fa you fall down in um, this special zone and then you get this and it looks so cool um, yeah um, it was a really like bad stage in S Sonic 2 before you went into um, oil ocean zone it was before that but then if you drop down this endless pit instead of it being spikes it'll be this zone and then you'll be transported into this zone and this is the most exciting part of the story oh, um, of Sonic Origins, I mean, official trailer. All new animated content by Tyson Hess. This is something that I've been wanting for like ages instead of just having at the start of the, um, having as the intro of Sonic Mania and then having as the good ending and bad ending, um, having it to be animated instead of being in sprite form. If it was animated by Tyson Hess, the godfather of Sonic, um, it makes it more something to look forward to. And it looks cool. See? You got this fight between Knuckles and um, Sonic. Between in Hidden Patterson, Zone. And the fight, cho the fight choreography is really awesome. Because Sonic spin dashes and Knuckles runs up to it. And then they both collide with Sonic putting his foot. And Knuckles bashes his uh, foot. Which should technically hurt him. But I don't know if Sonic's... Sonic's probably in the hospital after that. Because so Knuckles is the strongest character in the series. Because, look, think about it. In the start of Sonic 3, Knuckles hits um, Super Sonic right out of his form. That's enough to destroy Super Sonic. Super Sonic is supposed to be inv invincible, but Knuckles just knocks him out with one bloody uppercut from underground. Yes, you can make the excuse that Sonic was like not knowing his surroundings when he was just going... Mew! And then we got like a really epic. Maybe this is Eggman going, What? And he's like, No, Sonic! Um, but this is probably him just evilly laughing. And then Sonic just rips the paper and it just has him appearing. And then has uh, Amy, Tails, and Knuckles. And they're all just being the jolly guys they are. And it's Sonic Origins. Yes. Um, cannot wait for this. Um, Please watch the official trailer. And yeah, this looks so amazing. Like, it's just a massive collection of the original games just remastered. I sure hope they remastered it. And got the Chaos Emeralds going out of the logo and the feathers coming out and the ribbon. And this is available on all consoles. Um, Nintendo Switch, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series, XS. I don't know. Xbox is all over the place right now. Xbox One, Epic Games. Oh, it's on Steam. It looks so good. And then some uh bonus content um there's a digital deluxe if you buy it so i might buy it from digital i don't know bonus hard missions additional music tracks a letter box backgrounds um character animations and island camera which is sh this shows the i think this is, is this already no it's not i thought it was out for like people that pre-order it who knows um island camera it looks so good yeah and that's pretty much it um, celebrate um, birthday 23rd 22 this is a I have to make 31 years look good I have to make 31 years look good that's funny because it wasn't on his 30th anniversary it was on his 31 so he's 31 years old it's crazy that the blue below is 30 because I started playing Sonic when I was playing Sonic Rush because uh, yeah, because I don't know it came out in 2003 but the thing is I didn't get it into 2006 
but I remember playing it. That's the first time I've ever played Sonic the Hedgehog. I was in my bedroom just playing on my DS and then I found, oh, this Blue Hedgehog. But the thing is, I didn't play through the entire game. I was like, how do I get the Chaos Emeralds? I had to chase this weird bird looking dude or metal bird, I don't know. It looks like a blade shark torpedo. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.